Uh, today's video regarding Canon Pixima TS6370 all in one printer. So, I'm going to show you how to do quick unboxing and setup. So, this is a wireless printer. So, I'll show you how to connect it with the Wi Fi network of your home and office, what ink it uses, and how to install the ink cartridges, how to do wireless printing, and uh, everything will be here. So, let's start with unboxing. let's do the quick setup so switch on the printer press the power button on and go on the display screen so it's starting for first time it will ask you for the language you can select English or if you want you can select other language and just click OK with the OK button now you see here that says start setup so you click OK again so you can scroll down but it won't go so once you click OK, now you can scroll down the screen and go at the lower option and that is the press OK button. Once you do it, it says install ink cartridges. Now I'll show you that. Open the chamber by holding your hand from this side and it will stand itself. Now ink cartridge chamber is moving inside in between. Now we have to open the ink cartridges. So remove all the seals. It's easy to do. For example, I'm going to show here. This is the orange flap. You just have to take it out. Once you open with it, the plastic cover will come out. Now this orange seal has to be removed. So you have to push it downwards or just against the cartridge and it will open. Now do it for all the ink cartridges and then we will install it here. Now match the alphabets as it says M so you have to place the cartridge saying M and this uh, printer uses ink cartridge number 281 and the thing is it there are 5 ink cartridges so it's good and you have more pages you can print with this print. Also match the color so as you can see the one black will go at the black, yellow will go to the yellow. It's easy to install, you just have to insert it and press it little bit and it will lock itself. So it has a locking mechanism. Once it is done, you can check on the screen if, the, uh, if there is any error or not. And once you see everything is fine on the screen, then we close the lid. So everything is okay, it recognizes all the ink cartridges. So now press up and then leave it it will go down itself and it will close now it says closed and now press ok once we finish now it's saying to improve the print quality do alignment and for that we need to install the pages so pages can be installed at the rear tray and the rear tray you can adjust the size of the paper so this is a4 sheet i'm installing here and you can take out the back support so that they won't fall. Also there is a cassette tray which you can use if you don't want to use the rear tray. That is at the bottom. You just have to take it out and install the pages there. You can adjust the size if you have smaller pages. You can also print photos. So it just depends. For the first time you definitely need to put a A4 size sheet here. Now output tray is automatic, it will come out self itself, if you want you can take it out as well and you can hold the pages here. 
now once you ready click yes then it will start the alignment and it will print couple of pages which might take uh, some time at least six seven minutes it will take for the cartridges to settle for a proper printout so just wait for that so once you get all the sheets out then we will go on the display screen again so like this it will print so this is the printer alignment sheet once it is done click next and you will see connection method click ok now we are ready now i'll show you how to do the wi-fi setup using your smartphone you can take iphone android phone and download the canon print selfie app from app store and now we have to open this app and add the printer here and to connect your printer with wi-fi click on this icon which looks like a printer click on add and click on register printer as it's a new printer and click yes for the bluetooth setting now also click if printer cannot be found now it will search for the available printers but before that you have to click auto connection now it's also asking to click this button for three seconds so you just have to press and hold now go to your smartphone again and click this box and now you will see the printer is available here now you have to join it with the wi-fi so you just have to click ok on that so this might take some time and once it will find out the wi-fi network of your home and office then you have to enter the password of your wi-fi network for example i'm going to show you here so here is the wi-fi network name so if you, this is the right one click yes now enter the password and click ok and just wait for it to connect this might take five to six minutes for you it depends upon the location of the printer strength of the wi-fi so once it is done you can see final confirmation you can also see this printer available at the base of this app you can see it displays the structure its photo and name and now i'll show you how to do the wireless printing and scanning now to do a wireless printing and scanning again open the app now click on the print document button select the document you want to print here click on the next at bottom of this app now click ok you will see the setting option now so if you want you can change the setting you can adjust the number of printouts you want size also if you want it color black and white or grayscale and once you select it then you can go back and click on the print option and just wait for the printer to send the printout And this might take another few seconds now we can see it has printed out here so it's easy wireless printing now i'll show you how to do the scanning again we open the top lid place a document we want to scan facing downwards on the left hand side corner So here is the test page one we can do now open the app again now click on the scan button which is at the bottom left of the printer now here also you can do settings you can choose jpeg you can cho choose the pdf option uh, also if you want color or if you want to increase the dpi and once all set you can click on scan button so here you can see this is a very good printer where you can do the wireless printing and scanning perfect for your home and office now once your scanning is transferred you can say, see where it is saved and then you can access from there 
so overall this printer is good and it's not very fast but it's very good for your small work where you can do print scan and copy thanks for watching